Hello, tonight we read from 1 Timothy 3 and Proverbs 6. Um, I didn't get anything from Timothy, but uh, did you? I did. In 1 Timothy 3, as I go to it, um, as I stated before earlier, a few hours ago, I mentioned how if my father was alive, he would be one year shy of nine decades old, 89 years old. And I mentioned how much of an impact uh, he had. And in this chapter, it talks about how if you wanted to be a bishop or a deacon, you had to have leadership or rule over your home. You had to have your children in order and you had to, you know, really be organized and or orderly. And it said um, that the bishop had to have confidence and instill it in their children. So that really spoke to me. Yeah, it's, his children is subject with all gr gravity or gravity or gravity. But uh, that they were in order. And I think about... Uh, so many children who do not have that example in a home. They don't have that protection. They don't have that confidence. But Lord, you know, spoke to me and you asked the question earlier when I was in a meeting and I was like, where did that question come from? You know, why would you ask that? And it was kind of random. And you asked me, it was, it was strangely worded, but you said, what was the, not easiest, but in, not beneficial, but what was the best? Satisfactory. What was the most satisfying age for you? What age were you when it was most satisfying for me to be your mother? And, you know, of course, if someone were to ask that to a mother... They would probably say, oh, yeah, when you were a baby, you know, just when you were, you know, easy to pick up and you kiss the cheek. And I, I told him and I was on the back porch and it, it took me back. But I was like, he's like, you know, don't say, you know, this age or whatever. And I said right now. And, you know, you were taken aback. But I said it, it does get um, I see the benefit and it's a cumulative effect. Every day gets better. Every year gets better. Even though there were bumps in elementary school and, of course, high school and woo and college, but I see God's grace and kindness and his blessings on his life. And more so, I see it in my life, how he has carried me and he has been the head of this home. And the Lord gave me more encouragement uh, from Proverbs 6. And it talked about, and I, I wrote a song about this, if you remember, and it was called My Son. And I wrote it, man, probably 15 years ago. But it was talking about my son, keep father's commandments. If there's not a father in a home, it's the heavenly father's commandments. And for his sake, not my, your mother's law, bind them by your, uh, bind them on your, your neck. And so that when thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. So that's the most important. My son, bind them in thine heart because the commandments of the Lord, that's the instruction of the Lord. If you're a single mother, if you pour that into them, when they get old, it will not depart and that will be their companion. It's the law, the commandment, the words, the instruction is a lamp unto their feet light unto their path and the reproofs of instruction are the way of life so it's a blessing to have that example and i had him watch otis dream about uh, just the voter suppression and how the old school men were able to to model dignity for the next generation and that was just so exciting and um, we have hope but guess what the Lord is the anchor to our soul. And if we're alone doing it by ourselves, as far as raising children, the Lord is always there with us. What did, did uh, Proverbs 6 say to you? Mm, 15 first. 
15th verse, it says, Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Uh, yeah, that's just talking about a person who doesn't think things through. And, uh, yeah, you're just coming in the blink of an eye. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Like a rapper died today. So, like, you know, you if you live in that life, you really can't be surprised. Um, so, yeah, everything can die happen in an instance. You know, you can't expect that you're going to die on a deathbed and everybody's going to, like, your family's going to be around you. You know, it can happen in a split second. It can all be gone. So, uh, think things through. Think things through. And the way of wisdom, the Lord will show all of us, his children, his creation, so that we can live the abundant life, whether we have a full home or one parent. God, our Father, is always with us. Have a wonderful evening.